to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammy, and this is my son Parker. Right here. Say hi buddy. Say hi. Look at the camera. Say hi. I'm showing you guys he's got his tablet. Um, he's going to watch something. I don't know. He's either going to draw or watch some PBS kids. Um, so hopefully he's a good boy throughout this video. We're in our room. Well, my room. And he might like go or try to knock over the camera, which I'm fingers crossed he doesn't do. Um, but if you guys are new, I hope that you will consider subscribing to our channel and joining our little YouTube family. Um, I am a young mommy to my son Parker and I am married. And we are just going along in life. And I try to vlog and do lifestyle and try-ons and hauls and you know, stuff with my kid. Um, so if you like that stuff, definitely subscribe. But today's video is going to be kind of like a two-year update. Um, and then I asked you guys to ask me any questions you had on my Instagram about my son Parker. So I'm going to go through those. So I'm just going to go through the questions that you guys asked and then I will go ahead and talk a little bit about my son and stuff like that. So if you guys are new, you can get, you know, a little info on my son and how we're doing in his little toddler stage. So let's see, I'm going to start with, did you get him on accident or by mistake? <laughs> and I, I mean, I didn't get him, I had him, um, but I mean, he was an accident. We weren't planning for a baby. We were, you know, <laughs> very, very young at that point. Well, I was very young. My husband's like three years older than me. So I was young at that point. Um, <laughs> You're okay. We haven't, we hadn't been living, you know, together for that long. Um, it wasn't like we'd been dating for like three years at that point in our life. Um, but I was scared. My husband was very supportive. He was my boyfriend at that time, but he was very supportive. Um, and there was no question in our mind if we were going to have Parker or not, but we love him unconditionally and it definitely grew me as a person. Um... um. Why are you sad? The next question is, what's your favorite thing to eat? And what do you hate eating? Lots of kisses for you. I'm assuming you mean Parker. Um, let's see. His favorite thing to eat, that's kind of a hard question because he is a picky eater. Most of the time, probably about 80% of the time, I can count on him eating chicken nuggets. Um, he generally likes fast food nuggets more than like, you know, frozen Tyson nuggets or whatever. But I can pretty much, you know, 80% of the time expect him to eat some nuggets. He also likes fish sticks, but he has to have like barbecue sauce to dip with most of the time. Sometimes with um, fast food nuggets, he doesn't need that because, you know, they bomb. But um, fish sticks, he definitely has to have ketchup. And I'm going to say the worst thing, like the thing he doesn't eat, he hates most vegetables. He will not try them. Um, so vegetables, <laughs> which is, you know, Kids don't like vegetables. Hopefully, you know, he gets to eating those. Next question is, are you done breastfeeding him? And yes, we are no longer breastfeeding. I stopped around 22 months. Um, and he is, you know, 24 months at this point And we're doing good. It was hard and <laughs> upsetting for me. Um, but, you know, it was time. It was just what was going on in our life at that time. I needed to not be breastfeeding him to sleep and stuff like that. Um, is he a good eater? I have a super picky 20 month old and yes, he's a very, very picky eater. Um, and he has been pretty much his whole entire existence for his two years. I mean, whenever he started eating, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, he's very picky. One day he'll, he will eat something and the next day he won't, which is, you know, it's hard. It's hard to do. Um, it's hard to make him things. It's hard to count on him eating something if we go to a restaurant. Um, it's just, it's a struggle. It's definitely a struggle to have a picky eater, but we manage and I know that he's not going to starve because I read that, that they don't want to starve themselves. So if they're absolutely hungry, they will eat. <laughs> um, what was his first word? I honestly don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was probably like mama or dada. What's his favorite food? Again, probably like chicken nuggets and french fries, like McDonald's fries, because you know, those are great. <laughs> what is his weight? Um, so when we went to his two year checkup, he, I think they said he weighed like almost 26 pounds. So he was like 25 something, um, but he did have shoes on. 
And now when he's at home and he uses our scale, which our scale might be like whack, he's like 24 pounds. So, I mean, he might be 24, he might be 25, somewhere in there. He's, a, he's definitely a small boy. What's his favorite thing to do? He loves to bounce. <laughs> um, he loves going to the trampoline park. He... He bounces on pretty much everything. He bounces on our bed. He bounces on the couch. He bounces on the floor when it's not even bouncy. Like, he really likes to bounce. He also likes to go outside. Um, so, like, to go to the park and do stuff like that. Um, is Parker potty trained? You pen the kitty? No, Parker is not potty trained. Um, that is something that we are going to start very, very soon. Um, we're still using, you know, diapers. We didn't. No, as like first time parents we had no clue when to start potty training, how to start potty training. I'm still not sure how to do it. Like people said to like strap him down on the potty which seems slightly aggressive. He's like trying to pet our cat. Um, say good kitty. Say good kitty. Yeah, so we're, I'm actually going tomorrow with my dad to get a potty. And my grandma suggested maybe getting like a, a book about it. I'm not sure if you guys have any tips, if you've potty trained and you know what works for you. And I don't know if you potty train a boy differently than a girl. I'm assuming not. I just, you know, I really don't know. So if you guys have any tips, leave them down below. How did you find out um, you were pregnant with Parker? Honestly, I was working at Winn-Dixie at this time. I remember because I was a cashier and I was standing at like the front of the thing, the line. And, um... I was just thinking like stuff about like me being pregnant what if I was pregnant I don't know if I hadn't started my period yet or not I just saw it like in my head um, and then I you know I got a pregnancy test I took it I was pregnant and I called my husband and he was in the Air Force at that time be be good be nice to the kitty okay be nice yeah um, and I called him and told him so yeah it wasn't anything like I didn't have like symptoms or anything I just popped into my head um, again with the potty training I just it's something we're gonna attempt to start very soon and do you have plans on having more kids in the future I've addressed this a couple of times I would really like to have another kid um, I don't necessarily know right now we don't really have the space for it in our house and my husband's going to school right now and I'd really like to have another kid once you know, he has a degree and is doing something that he truly likes um, and, you know, have a kid then rather than... I really would like one to be closer to, like, Parker when he's younger, but it seems like my husband's not really looking for a kid right now, so... Um, does he take naps? And yes, he does take naps. He's... When he turned um, one, I'm pretty sure... I can't remember if it was still take maybe one and no it had to be one when we started doing just one nap a day so before that he was two two naps a day now he's one nap a day um and he was because we do close sleep at night he was sleeping in my bed but now i am trying to get him to sleep in his bed in his room and you know that takes a bit but he usually naps about an hour to an hour and 15 sometimes he will wake up after like 30 minutes in his room and he will come and I'll be in the bed and he'll lay with me for like the rest of the time but he needs a nap because he he get a little cranky he get a little crazy um does he have a middle name and yes he does have a middle name his middle name is Dean which is also my husband's and like a family thing do, do, do. yeah so that's all the questions I'm gonna go through for that and now I'm just going to kind of talk about his um, life as a two-year-old, I suppose. So as of right now, we wake up generally around between 6.30 and like 7.15ish. Um, if he's like exhausted or if he's been up throughout the middle of the night, again, we co-sleep at nighttime. Um, maybe like 7.45, 8ish. That's if like I have to work at getting him back to sleep throughout the night. Um, so after that, we might hang out in our bedroom a little bit, go out, he usually drinks milk or a nutrition shake, kind of like Pediasure, because he's a small boy. Mm -hmm. Um, and he watches cartoons and stuff like that. 
and you know breakfast time is always a struggle sometimes it might be a yogurt sometimes it might be sausage and waffle um, just different things we don't really have a like super schedule it kind of depends on the day but generally I try to get him to nap around 1130 and he usually wakes up maybe in between 12 30 1 30 somewhere in there um depends on when i actually like got him to go to sleep and yeah so his bedtime is nine o'clock and sometimes we get him ready 8 30 8 45 it kind of just depends where his mood's at because if he's being a butthead <laughs> um then i'd want to get him ready earlier and like get him down and get him to sleep because he's annoying me be a little butt um, but yeah we don't have like a, a schedule that we go to or anything next month in September it's gonna switch up because I am going to start hopefully if they freaking open going to a gym that has a like daycare basically they'll watch them while I work out because it's really really hard to try to work out and he's climbing on me that's just something I'm not into it makes me upset and I know he's being cute and I like it but like I also can't get what I want to be done um, so we're gonna do, do that and um, hopefully he there's some kids there that he can interact with and then also next month we start back going to the library and having like library time they read books there's kids they can play so that's gonna we're gonna get a different kind of schedule next month um, so that'll be fun. That'll get him, you know, interested in hopefully interacting with kids. Now, we did have his two-year-old appointment recently, and they were concerned about his speech. They said he might have a speech delay. They also kept bringing up, um, like, autism. They kept bringing up, like, autism. They said he's. they're pretty sure he doesn't have it. Um, but again, I don't know. It was a very weird, because it was our first time going in that pediatrician. And they were just concerned about his speech. Um, so we're gonna check on his 30 month checkup to see if his speech has improved. If not, they wanna run tests on him for I don't know if it's like autism related or just speech delay related. Um, I have started writing down. My husband just uh, got Nick Jr. and stuff. Um, but we do, I have started writing down like what words he can say so that when we go to his appointment I can know exactly how many words he says and right now I have written down 30 from the day that we had his appointment so I'm gonna go through those words he can say bye yellow purple white black pink off meow so we have a kitten he's like four months old now and he doesn't say cat he just meows when the cat meows or if he hears a similar sound he says meow it's kind of cute <laughs> he can say dog we do have a dog he points to the dog and says dog um, we he can say apple ball he loves the word ball he says mama dad dada um, he says milk he says num num for food he says no he can say um, he can say uh oh he can say rar so if he loves dinosaurs and Hey, let's, hey, can you look at the camera? Can you say rah? Rah. Rah. Yeah. yeah, well, he like kind of raw, kind of gurge, that kind of sound. Um, he can say baby, he can say duck. Yeah, so he can say duck, he can say we, he says night night. He said that for the first time the other day and it was so cute. Um, he can say yeah, he says shh. He can say go, he can say hi, he said blippy the other day, and he can say nine, like the number nine. He's gurn. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, so he can say 30 words that I have counted so far. I don't know if he can say any more. Um, if he does, I'll write them down. But I want to have like an exact number to be able to tell them. Because um, they said by two years old, he should say 100 words, which he can't. Um, which in, and then he kind of implied that I don't work with him. <sighs> You're so silly that I don't work with him. So like I'm not doing books with him. He was like, you need to read nighttime stories with him, which we do books like throughout the day. He has a word book and we're constantly like pointing at the words. You're so silly and doing that. 
Um, so he, I think he's about 33 inches tall and again he weighs like 24, 25 pounds. He's definitely a small boy for two years old. That's why we do like the uh, nutrition shakes. He has like vitamins that he sometimes takes. He really doesn't like them because um, they're a little bit different than his like Welch's gummies. So he kind of doesn't trust them. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, so that's pretty much what we're working with for two years old. He loves to play. He loves to jump. Um... Again, he's not very super interactive with other kids, which we're gonna try to work on just because he's, you know, he's home most of the time. So when we go around kids, he's kind of just like, and he really does not like to share. So we're also gonna try to work on that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If your kid has similar things like mine, or if you just wanna tell me about your kid, or if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!